screen or um, like we set up here the user ID and password I'm using here is exactly the same as the one that I'm using over here With a bit of luck in a second, what we'll see, let me make this a little bit bigger, and there we go, you can see, just saw that down here, you can see it doing the same thing, it disconnected, reconnected the uh, network card after rebind, after binding um, NLB to the interface. So this is currently pending. There we go, that's done. The next thing we're going to do now is install IS on both machines, uh, which again we're going to do through Server Manager. This time we're not adding a feature, we're adding a role. The role we're adding is a web server. Next, install. Same over here. Still installing at the moment, you have to bear with me. I should have a do a song and a dance when it takes this long really. Let's make this window a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller even. Let's take it down to eight hundred by six hundred. Okay, installation succeeded, good and good. Okay, so believe it or not, that's pretty much it. Let's have a look at our um, client here uh, and see if our client can access the highly available website now. Just loading up Firefox at the moment. See pings are still going through which is good. Okay, let's Okay, so there's IIS, that's working, and we can do lots of refreshes to check that it is working. Those increase in ping times are probably more of an indication of this local machine struggling rather than the, uh, the cluster struggling. Okay, um, now what should we do? How about we bring down host 1? See what impact that has. So if we do a thing of test NLB... That's now going down. Let's see what the website does. Okay, it's still responding in terms of pings. Just seeing what IS does. And there we go, IS. There was a period where it was taking a, a little bit longer, but as you can see there, that's responding. Pings actually never stopped at all. Those increase in ping times are before we started the reboot. So that's good. Now the node's back up again. Now let's bring down the other node. See if it's just as resilient. Test NLB. Down goes the second node. Now let's try refreshing. Okay, so when you bring when you sometimes bring it down, you'll get the service unavailable. Let's keep refreshing. What you'll have to see in a second is you'll see it come back. So there you go. The machine hasn't loaded yet. But within a couple of seconds it sorted itself out. And again, no pings were lost. Okay, so as you can see, that's a pretty successful um, deployment. We've kind of done it so now we can lose either node. And there is some downtime as far as IS is concerned. Um, but you can always kind of scale this out and whatever, so the chances of them hitting a, a bad node are, are lower and things like that. Um, okay, let's now let's I want to go through a few things. Um, the first thing is is um, one of the stumbling blocks I often see is um, not setting up the security settings within the vSwitch to allow uh, unicast network load balancing to work. Um, let me just show you that here. 
Now I'm using distributed V switches here. Um, however, you'll probably see you'll see the same within uh, standard V switches as well. So let me go into here. You see how that's responding to that ping there. Now what I'll do is if I go edit settings, and I'm going to change some security settings here, and we'll see what effect that has on this. So you can see there, simply by changing the security settings, suddenly I've broken my cluster. If I now change those to accept, there you go, it's come through already. Now the in fact the only one you real need really need is this one here, which is MAC address changes. Um, that's a security setting that's um, very important in some situations, um, however it certainly does break network load balancing. Okay, um, that's about it from me. Um, it's quite a short little video, um, but also quite important. There's a tricky little setting there that um, a few people tend to uh, to miss out. and um, it's You actually, in fact, don't need it if you're going to be doing a multicast um, IP address. Um, but Unicast is far more compatible as long as you remember. That setting there. Okay, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I hope to see you in uh, another one soon.